Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of the Hippo tutorial. In this video, we'll do the legs and body, as well as the arms, assembly and finishing details of the Hippo. We're going to start at the bottom of the legs and work up. And in round 1, it's 6 single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight, and as always I'm using a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round 2, we do 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. This means we're doing 6 increases, which brings us up to 12 stitches. In round 3, it's a single crochet, and then an increase, and we do all of that 6 times in total to bring us up to 18. In round 4, we're working in the back loops only. And we're just doing 18 single crochet around, just through those back loops. Now we're working through both loops again, and in rounds 5 to 7, so that's 3 rounds, we're just doing 18 single crochet around. And I'll do these 3 rounds off camera. So here's the leg, and for the first leg only, we're going to close and cut the yarn after round 7. Now you're going to crochet the second leg exactly the same way, but without closing or cutting the yarn. So here is the second leg, and we're going to join it to the first leg, and I like to join over here, which is the first stitch of the last round, and we're joining with one single crochet. I recommend adding a marker to this stitch, and it's the first stitch of the belly. Now we've already done the first stitch of the belly, and we're going to do another 17 single crochet onto that first leg. Here's the last stitch on the first leg. And now we're going to move onto the second leg. There will be a bit of a gap, but we'll close that later. So now we're going to do 18 single crochet on the second leg. And here's the last stitch of the round, going into that last stitch of the second leg. This should be just before that stitch that we used to join the legs together. Round 2 is going to start in that stitch that we used to join the legs. And in round 2 we start with 5 single crochet. And then we do an increase. And we do all of that 6 times in total, so 5 single crochet followed by an increase.
Now using the tail left over from the end of the first leg, we're going to sew that hole closed. And you can just go over it with a few stitches. Now I'll just secure that yarn tail with a few stitches. Now we're going to do 8 rounds of 42 single crochet around. So that's rounds 3 to 10. And I'll do these rounds off camera. After round 10, we can stuff the legs and the base of the body. Make sure to get stuffing all the way down to the bottom of the legs. In round 11, we're going to start decreasing. So we start with 5 single crochet. And then we do a decrease. And we do all of that six times, so five single crochet followed by a decrease. This will bring the total of round 11 down to 36 stitches. In round 12, we do 36 single crochet around. And I'll finish off this round off camera. In round 13, we do four single crochet and then a decrease and we do all of that six times to get 30. Round 14 is just 30 single crochet around and once again I'll do this round off camera. In round 15, it's 3 single crochet and then a decrease and we do all of that 6 times to get 24. Round 16 is 24 single crochet around. Round 17, we do two single crochet and then a decrease and we do that six times to get 18. In round 18, it's just 18 single crochet around. Now we can remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch. And cut the yarn leaving a long tail for sewing. Now we can finish stuffing the body. Make sure to stuff the neck quite firmly because it needs to support the head. Next up we're going to crochet the arms and in round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, it's six increases. That will bring us up to 12 stitches.
Now we're going to do nine rounds of 12 single crochet around. So that's rounds three to 11. And I'll do these nine rounds off camera. Now we can add stuffing to the arm and I only like to put stuffing about halfway. Now we can remove the stitch marker and fold the top of the arm flat and do single crochets across both sides to close. Then cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And you'll need to make two of these arms. We're going to start the assembly by sewing the head onto the body. If you like you can hold it in place with some pins. First grab a stitch from the head Go up into a stitch on the neck And then down into the next stitch on the neck And grab the next stitch of the head And you can continue this all the way around the head before reaching the end, you can add some more stuffing to the neck to keep the head from wobbling. Once you've gone around the whole head, you can insert the yarn into the piece into a few different places to secure it. Now we can attach the arms and they are going at the side of the body, just below the neck. First grab a stitch from the body. Go up into the arm and then down into the next stitch on the arm and do this all the way across. Once I reach the end of the arm, I like to bring the yarn through to the front and grab that first stitch again. You can bring the yarn back and forth under the arm as many times as you like. Then finally bring the yarn through to the back. Now you can sew on the second arm exactly the same way, just making sure it's symmetrical with the first. Bring the yarn tail back to meet the first one and then tie these together and weave in the ends. Now the ears are going at round 14 so that's about six rounds behind the eyes. And you can just grab stitches around the ear and on the head. Once it's secure, you can bring the yarn tail through to the back. 
and then attach the second ear exactly the same, just making sure it's symmetrical with the first. Now we're going to crochet the tail. Insert the hook where you want the tail to go. And then pull through a loop and chain 6. Starting in the second chain from the hook, do 5 single crochet back along the chain. Then you can cut the yarn leaving a short tail. Tie these yarn tails together and then use a yarn needle to pull the knot into the piece. Now the eyebrows are two simple stitches, two rounds behind the eyes. I like them quite thin, so I split some medium weight yarn first. I like to place the nostrils slightly further apart than the eyes. You might have to try this a few times to get the placement that you want. Lastly, you can use some white medium weight yarn to make the whites of the eyes. And these are just two simple stitches as close to the eyes as possible as shown in the picture. And that is your hippo completed. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.